India is a rapid growing country with its vast development in all aspects. And the communication and transportation system between the major cities will boost that effectively. That is why Indian government is making expressway and rail corridors very aggressively. Like Delhi Mumbai Expressway, Nagpur Mumbai Expressway, Western Dedicated Freight Corridor and many more which are coming in future. And today we will talk about the Mumbai Ahmedabad High Speed Rail or the first ever bullet train project of India with the top speed of 350 km per hour. But before continue, if you are new to this channel, please do subscribe. And also, please hit the like button because your one like will motivate me to make more videos. This bullet train project is a 508.17 km under construction high speed rail line that will connect Mumbai with Ahmedabad at an estimated cost of 1.1 lakh crore rupees. This will be the first ever bullet train project of India which is being executed by the National High Speed Rail Corporation Limited that is NHSRCL. As India is not having expertise in bullet train segment, that is why Japan is involved with this project. Out of the 1.1 lakh crore rupees, Japan will lend 88,000 crore to India at the interest rate of 0.1%. And India will return the same in 50 years of tenure, 15 years after the commissioning of the bullet train successfully. Well, not only financially, Technically, Japan is also contributing to this project. As Japan has expertise in bullet trains, Shinkansen technology, they are applying the same take in this Indian project. The project's foundation stone was laid by the Prime Minister of India and Japan on September 14, 2017. After which, construction work commenced for a 4,000 employee high speed rail training institute that is HSRTI in Varodhra. As you can see in the map, there will be total 12 stations from Mumbai to Ahmedabad. The train will start from Mumbai, Vandra Kola complex, then Thane, Virar, Boisar, Bapi, Bilimora, Surat, Varuch, Varodhra, Anand. Kalupur and finally Sabarmati at Ahmedabad. If the train stops in all these 12 stations, it will take about 2.58 hours to reach. And if the train stops at 4 of the stations like Mumbai, Surat, Varudra, Ahmedabad, then it will take around 2.07 hours to reach. The total length of this project is 508.17 km, out of which 468 km will be elevated and 27 km will be underground through tunnel and 13 km will be at grade. Out of the 27 km underground section, 2 km will be under sea level and this tunnel will be India's first sea tunnel as this will go through the creek of Thane in Mumbai. Out of the total 508.17 km, 348 km is in Gujarat 155.76 km is in Maharashtra and 4.3 km is in Union Directory through Dadar, Nagar and Haveli. And today you are watching the progress of section C4 at Varuj near Narmada river. This section of work is carried out by LNT construction. As you can see the land acquisition of this section is totally completed. All the works has been carried out in full force. All the activities are going in parallelly like piling, pile cap excavation, pile cap, pier, etc. Well, they have already set up the precast yard and they have started casting a precast segment also. For first workflow, they are making the steel cages at ground and then they are fixing the cage over pier by crane. Well, as you can see, they have started the deep oil foundation at the Narmada river. After completion of all type of geotechnical survey, they have started the well foundation. Well, they are also using these ports for shifting materials in the river. As you have already seen in the map, there will be a station near Varuj. And this is the place where the Varuj station will be located. The maximum speed of the bullet train will be 350 km per hour 
where operating speed will be 320 and the average speed will be 250 km per hour. And the trains will be having a capacity of 750 passengers. Talking about the safety, there will be urgent earthquake detection and alarm system for automatic braking in case of an earthquake. Right now, the main problem of this project is land acquisition. As per officials, they have acquired the 100% required land in Gujarat, whereas only 46.71% of land acquired in Maharashtra, which is around 202.65 hectares of total 433.82 hectares of land. Talking about the fair structure, it is not yet finalized but is expected to be 1.5 times the existing first-class AC fare on the Indian Railway's current service. As government is very keen to complete this project in time, the deadline of this project is decided as December 2023. Well, one thing is very promising is that government is really concerned about the progress of this project as even on Sunday, the project's work was being carried out in full swing. So what is your thought about this project? Make sure to mention in the comment section. Well, if you have enjoyed this video, please hit the like. And if you have any project suggestion, please let me know in comment also. Thanks for watching.